Um, so in this first example, ladies and gentlemen, if I want to determine the first five terms, basically, ladies and gentlemen, basically what we're simply going to be doing is we're going to want to find the first five terms. So to find the first term, we're basically going to replace n with 1. So I'm going to do 4 times 1 minus 2. So now, all we simply need to evaluate. Now, it's very important when we evaluate, though, we need to make sure, Jonathan, that we apply the order of operations. Remember, order of operations say we need to multiply and divide before we add and subtract. So I need to multiply 4 times 1, which is just 4, then subtract 2, which is 2. So that means the first number in the sequence is equal to 2. Now, let's find the second number in the sequence. So now, I replace all of, instead of um, n, I'm going to put 2 wherever there's an n. So I have 4 times 2 minus 2. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, minus 2 is 6. You guys kind of getting the pattern here? Yeah. Okay. Why is it a 3? Because oh, we're finding the first five terms. So you're going to plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in for n, and then plug them in, because that's going to be your first five terms. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I do 4 times 3 minus 2. 4 times 3 is going to be dulce. Minus 2 is 10. 8 to the fourth, 4 times 4 is 16. Minus 2 is? Well, the question is saying determine the first five terms. So you're going to plug in 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which would be the first five terms. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 2 is going to be 14. And, but that's a great question, because what if the question was a little bit different? which I'll ask, which I'll say in just a second. 4 times 5 is 20, minus 2 is 18. What if my question was, what is a to the 10th power? So I said, what is the first five terms? You're right. But what if I say, what is a to the 10th power? What would you do with that 10? 36. But what? You plug it in. You plug it in. I know this isn't the problem I ask you guys to do, but yeah, you can just plug in. Nick, Nick, Nick. Seriously. 4 times 10 is going to be 40, minus 2 is 38. So what the, explicit, what the explicit formula allows you to do is, yes, you guys can find the first five terms. But what it's also very helpful for is it also allows you to find the value for any number in your sequence by just plugging in what uh, number that is of the sequence. So if it asks you to find the first five terms, 